You know what, by fluke, today I got something in the mail, and this is something I know is going to help a lot of people. Most likely it's going to be helping you because you clicked on my video and you had some interest in it. Now, this here is just some remote start, keyless remote start that we had gotten. Came in a lot of a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, this brand is long forgotten. This stuff is antique, man. Antique. Now, the FCC on these remotes, um, on this remote starter system, have not been in use for quite some time. However, the, I know for a fact that there are just a ton of people out there with these types of systems. When I saw that this one was named ICD, that just went ding, ding, ding in my head because I, you know, I have a huge box full of remotes with that exact brand name on it. On the back of my remotes, they say J552318T1. That's the typical FCC ID you find on these remotes. Uh, they come in these three button versions. Two button versions, uh, a square, four button, I've even seen them as, as many as five and six button configurations. They're all the same. They're all the same. So if you're in desperate need of trying to figure out how to program your remotes, this may be worth the try. I mean, hey, it's free information. I put it out there because that's what I do. On the back of my module, this here is the brain under my dash, by the way, if you were wondering what the hell this thing is. On the back, there's a little sticker, and on the bottom of the sticker, it says FCC ID. That says j 55 Two three five eighteen R. Okay, so between that and the FCC on the back of my remotes, which again is J five five two three five eighteen T one. If you need to program your remotes and you're lost, you don't know how, you want to buy an extra remote, you don't know where to go, whatever your story is, this might help you. Um, you don't really need to know about the brain, where it is under your dash, or any of that other stuff. But what you do need to know is where the key to your car is, which I'm sure you know is. And you need to find this here, which is the valley switch or the programming switch for the remote start system. If you don't know where it is, I suggest you get underneath your dash, look for the brain, find this two pin blue plug, trace it out to the end, which is where you're going to locate this. This is the valley switch. This is called a program slash valley switch. You need to know where this is. How you program your remotes, very straightforward. What you do is get into the car. Turn the key on, off, on, off, on. Third time when you turn the key on, leave it on. All you have to do is at that point, the parking lights and the LED will flash once. Press the program switch and hold it in. The dash lights and LED will flash rapidly three times. Press the button one on the remote. The dash lights and LED will flash one time after it's been pressed to confirm its system has learned a new remote. When programming additional transmitters to operate the system, all transmitters to be used with the system must be done at the exact same time. So again, real slow, you get in the car, turn the ignition on, off three times rapidly. Do not turn the key all the way to the crank position. Just turn it on, off, on, off, on. Third time, leave the ignition on, leave the key in the on position. Parking lights and LED will flash once. Press the program switch and hold it. The dash lights and LED will flash rapidly three times, then press one of the remote transmitters. The dash lights and LED will flash once to let it know that it confirmed and learned the code. Do that with each subsequent remote control. It'll learn up to four. Turn the key off to exit the programming. That's it, man. So I hope this helps somebody out there who needs this information. If not, you know, hey, I tried. But that's, that's the information I have to share with you guys today. Good luck.